Hello, my name is Michael Takayoshi, and I am the principal of Cascade High School, and it is my honor to introduce Cascade's retirees for the 2020-21 school year. Our first retiree, Raj Kleckley, came to Cascade in February 2001 after having worked at Everett High School since 1993. Prior to that, she worked at several universities. Her favorite memory from her time at Cascade has been the various celebrations she's been a part of, whether it be birthdays, holidays, or potluck lunches. She always values getting to connect with her colleagues and make connections with others. Her colleagues cited her positive and compassionate personality and that she always gives that sense of calmness and safety no matter how chaotic it is outside of her office. One of her teammates lauded her knowledge and experience uh, combined with her kindness, thoughtfulness, and generosity. One person cited that she is a champion for kids, she is a champion for her colleagues, and that she makes people feel valued. Raj cited her team, friends, and people that she's gotten to work with and the connection she's made with students as what she will miss most about Cascade. She plans on traveling, enjoying the Sunshine State, and enjoying and being a blessing to her family, over a hundred of them. We will miss you, Raj Kleckley, and are grateful for the great work that you did at Cascade. We wish you the best in the coming years. Cascade's second retiree, Carol Coker, has been in our district for 20 years, working in various roles throughout the district. Prior to coming to Cascade in 2014, her most recent assignment was at Gateway Middle School. At Cascade, Carol has been an instrumental member of our Life Skills Program. Her colleagues cited that she will be missed and that she was well liked by all of our students and staff of the Life, Life Skills Program. Carol's favorite memory of Cascade was chaperoning prom a few years ago, saying it was so fun and it made up for not being able to go to her own prom. She will miss all of the students and their greetings and the friendships and camaraderie she has developed over the years with staff members. Her plans for the future include leaving things open-ended because she hasn't made any definitive plans other than really taking a full week to just relax. We thank Carol for her contributions to Cascade and to our Life Skills Program, and we wish her all of the best as she enters retirement. Our next retiree, Jack McLeod, came to Cascade in the 1985-86 school year after spending time in the oil industry in Wyoming and Utah. While he has too many favorite memories from his time at Cascade, some include watching students see the wonders of national parks and other locations for the first time, and watching students plan, out, plan and carry out environmental service projects. His colleague said the following about Jack. You have been a phenomenal mentor to me and so many other teachers. You lead by example and always have time to listen. You have shaped the teacher I have become. Thank you. At the heart of Jack's teaching is the student. It has been an honor to watch and learn from Jack as he demonstrates teaching that revolves around what is best for the student to be able to think critically and apply learning to real world experiences. I've learned so much about how to become a better teacher from our conversations and trying to figure out how to best present curriculum to students. You are an amazing leader, teacher, collaborator, human being, and friend. You will be missed, but always remembered. Always willing to try something new. You are truly one of the most genuine, kind, and thoughtful human beings I have ever had the privilege of getting to know on this planet. Jack talked about missing most the relationships he has had with staff and students, and he plans to primarily spend time outdoors in retirement. We all want to thank Jack for his work and impact at Cascade, and we will miss him and wish him the best in retirement. Hi, this is Kevin Allen, Principal of Eisenhower Middle School, and it's my pleasure to speak about Maureen Hayden. Student-centered, dedicated, compassionate, growth mindset, Chicago Cubs fan, and funny. These are the words that come to mind when thinking about Maureen Hayden. Mrs. Hayden teaches special education at Eisenhower and is an exceptional teacher in every regard. She is so dedicated to reaching all kids that she will spend countless hours planning for individual students and working with parents to support their child. She differentiated for students, provided before and after school support, gave up her lunch time to help students, and was constantly working to be a better teacher than the day before. She mentored colleagues in the building and loved collaboration as she sought to continue to grow. Her colleagues share that Maureen had an excellent no way barometer that helped them more than once avoid sinking into the quicksand of trying to do it all, whether it was valuable or not. They also share that she was a, has a wry sense of humor and perhaps she even lives for April Fool's Day. A favorite from this year was her coughing up a fistful of feathers on Zoom and telling her students she'd had swan for dinner. 
I had the pleasure of working with many teachers. Few are as meticulous, consistent, knowledgeable, built strong relationships with families, and is student-centered at all times like Maureen. She is the inspector gadget of teachers as she seems to have a solution for any challenge that arises. A parent shared, my child's emotional, behavioral, and educational needs have been more than adequately met by the very patient and brilliant Mrs. Hayden. A student shared, I used to not like her because I thought she was hard. Now I know she isn't hard, she just believes I can do it. She is now my favorite teacher ever. While we are happy for you as you move on to the next chapter of your life, it is a great loss to students and colleagues alike. Your colleagues shared, Maureen always had time to help me. When I was new to the building, she made sure I had what I needed and was always there to support me. Another colleague shared, Maureen always had a strong opinion about teaching and how we as teachers needed to support our students. She helped shape my view of teaching and helped me become a better teacher. Maureen, as you retire, I want you to know that I've always respected you, your work ethic, and your diligence and perseverance with all students. I will miss our conversations. While I'm happy for you as you move to the next stage in your life, your legacy and the impact you have made on countless students and colleagues will reverberate in their lives for years to come. Congratulations. Hello, I am Blythe Young, principal at Emerson Elementary School, and I have the pleasure to introduce to you Ms. Charlene Osborne. Charlene is a quiet leader at Emerson Elementary. She has worked hard for 41 years at Everett Public Schools, starting as a paraeducator and working her way up to special education resource room teacher. She works tirelessly with each student to make sure their needs are met. She creatively designs instruction for each student individually. She makes sure each student has the tools necessary and are ready to take on the next challenge. Charlene is a team player and works hard with each staff member to guide and support them in their work. She is a vital member of our instructional leadership team and has volunteered in almost every committee at Emerson. Charlene's legacy is one that is devoted to young learners. Her kind and loving spirit guides students to become the best they can be. Her gentle and experienced leadership has ensured Emerson is intentional and focused on ensuring equity and access for all. Charlene will be missed at Emerson. We are sad to see her go, but excited for the next steps in her new adventure where she will be able to travel with her grandchildren and enjoy her garden. Thank you, Charlene, for your dedication to the students of Emerson Elementary School and to our Everett community. We wish you the very best in retirement. Hello, I'm Amanda Overly, principal of Everett High School, and today I get the privilege of honoring Everett High's retirees for the year. Nancy Flowers has served for 35 years as a science teacher. Her colleagues say she is kind and supportive. She welcomes new people with open arms and will do whatever she can to make people successful. She knows her students and how to help them learn. She puts her students first always. She always takes the time to rewrite a lesson or lab or demonstration to make sure she's really meeting student needs. She helps students before and after school. She is a wealth of knowledge to her colleagues one of them even referred to her as a goat. And I'm sure you know that that means greatest of all time. Miss Flower's shoes will be very hard to fill and she will be missed. Margarita Hurtado was a Spanish teacher at Everett High and Cascade. Uh, she has served 21 years as a Spanish teacher, but she taught math in Peru for 18 years before she came to the US. Margarita really cares for students. She has a heart of gold and treats students as if they were her own children. She worked to inspire a love of advanced placement literature and colleagues said she took the anxiety out of AP for students. Margarita helped build the district's AP program and get students the seal of biliteracy. She also entered students into the state Spanish literacy essay contest where her students often took first, second, or third place. She is not only a caring teacher, but a loving wife mother, grandmother, and friend to many. Her decades of service have inspired so many of us. Felicitaciones, Margarita. We'll miss you. 
Some years ago, Pam Parker moved from California to Washington, and we definitely got the better end of that. Uh, she's been a, a school psych for 16 years, and as a school psych, she works with countless families, students, um, teachers, and counselors. She is a real important part of our, um, our team here. Uh, teachers count on Pam for many things, including her expert opinions and knowledge, um, mentoring for other school psychs, friendship, camaraderie. Her approach is always calm and positive, confident, centered on what's best for kids. She is professional and approachable, but also apparently a lot of fun. More than one colleague mentioned her wicked sense of humor that kept them on their toes and brought joy to their days. Everett High School will not be the same without Pam. Good luck, Pam, we'll miss you. Sue Van Papigan has spent 18 years working in service of students with the Snohomish and Everett Public Schools districts. 10 of those were with us. Sue has worked at elementary, middle, and high school as an office secretary and a paraeducator. Always a team player, Sue is willing to pitch in wherever needed with a kind word and a smile. Her colleagues describe her as always being even keeled, consistent, and unflappable. Sue knows how to laugh in any situation. She has an incredible heart for students with special needs. Sue will be greatly missed. We wish her nothing but the best as she starts her next adventure in Idaho. Thank you, Sue. Hi, this is Matt Pennant, principal of Gateway Middle School. I'm here today to speak about Kathy Gratz and Jenny Posenjack, our retirees. Kathy Gratz, we thank you for your 25 years of service. When I think about Kathy, I think about passion. She always speaks directly and in advocacy of her ideals. In the English and Social Studies classrooms, her commitment to personally connect with each of her students was evident at every moment, and each of her students knows that she has the highest of expectations for them. Through humor and storytelling, she has a great gift for teaching, and she never held back in dressing up and making the most of spirit days. Her peers shared with me a few of the memories that they will remember. Kathy organizing teachers to be cheerleaders on a lid day, as facilitator of Special Education Olympics, or organizing fun and hilarious videos for students. One year, when Kathy had a challenging group of students, she wrapped up empty boxes with colored paper and ribbons and hung them around her classroom as a reminder that every student is a gift. Kathy, we will miss your dedication, smile, and commitment to Gateway. Kathy has plans to visit her 92-year-old mother and six grandchildren. I know that you will enjoy the freedom to book a vacation any time of the year you want because you can. Best wishes, Kathy. Jenny Posenjack has retired after 21 years of service in Everett Public Schools. Jenny is so kind, patient, and caring. It was no easy feat going into a pandemic as a health room assistant, yet throughout it, she stayed focused on keeping calm and attending to the needs of students. Personally, I am saddened that my time with Jenny was so short. She always had a smile, and you could really tell that she cared about all of those around her. As Jenny launched into retirement earlier this year, I'm happy to report back that she has found herself attending to her greatest loves in her life, spending time with family, four children and 12 grandchildren. Her and her husband have a trip planned to Yellowstone very soon to enjoy the outdoors and this new relaxed pace. Thanks for all you did for our Gateway Guardians, Jenny. We already miss you, but are thrilled for you. Please drop us a postcard once in a while. This is Laura Wellington, the proud principal of Heatherwood Middle School. On behalf of our Heatherwood Hawk family, it's an honor to introduce to you our retirees. Gretchen Yeager has taught English language arts for 15 years at Heatherwood Middle School. She has great rapport with her colleagues and her students. In fact, many of her students come back to visit her frequently. Late last week, one of her former students wrote a handwritten note stating how much Miss Yeager was an inspiration to her, and this former student is now heading off to Western Washington University to become a teacher. I want to thank Miss Yeager for taking on our pre-AP classes and spending much of her summer and her weekends and evenings with that particular curriculum and really delivering our pre-AP English classes with fidelity. Congratulations, Gretchen. We're super excited for you and the Hawk family is certainly going to miss you and we hope to see you back as a substitute. So congratulations and enjoy your retirement years. Ron Weiss has been teaching lifetime fitness for 25 years at Heatherwood Middle School. She will be retiring after an admirable 41 years in the teaching profession. 
Joan Weiss was always student-centered, creative with her lesson plans, and collaborative in her approach. She was always the first to volunteer for before and after school activities, assemblies, and certainly coaching. She coached volleyball, track and field, and cross country. In fact, running was her true love, and she herself excelled as a student athlete. Joan, congratulations, happy retirement, and we're excited for your years to come. We will miss you. Konnichiwa. My name is Michelle Renee. I'm one of the assistant principals at Jackson High School. I work with the World Language Department as well as the safety and security team at Jackson. And it is my privilege today to honor Terry Grindstaff and Coach Kirk Nicholson. I'm here with my colleague Wendy Organ from the World Language Department who will say a few words about Terry. Calm, intelligent, aimable, gentil, sympathetic, creative, sociable, et surtout généreuse avec un grand cœur pour les enfants. Terry Greenstaff est une prof qui cherche toujours pour des activités et des cursus qui touchent ses élèves. Elle veut que ses élèves sachent la belle langue et culture française. Son absence va être profonde pour le département et pour notre lycée parce que pendant plus que les dernières 20 ans, le programme français a grandi en part de l'atmosphère inclusive qu'elle a portée à ses classes. Tu vas nous manquer profondément. Calm, intelligent, friendly, nice, kind, social, and especially generous with a big heart for kids. Terry Grindstaff is a teacher who always looks for activities and curriculum that engages her students. She wants them to know the beautiful French language and culture. Her absence will be profound for the department and our high school because for the last 20 plus years, the French program has grown in part due to the inclusive atmosphere that she has brought to her classes. We'll miss Terry very much. And now the head coach the head for coach Jackson, Jackson High School, High School Timberwolves, Timberwolves baseball, baseball team, team Kirk, Kirk Nicholson. Nicholson. Thank you, Eric Hines. One of the best compliments a coach or an educator can have is having their former students come back to visit and even involve themselves in the school program. This is the kind of culture that Coach Nick has cultivated in his years at Jackson and within the Everett School District. Coach Nick has been with the Everett Public Schools for 40 years. In the 1980s, he was an assistant football coach at Evergreen Middle School. He went on to join the staff at Cascade High School and was an assistant coach there when Cascade won the state title in 1991. He was also an assistant football coach at Jackson High School for many, many years. Coach Nick has been the only head baseball coach that Jackson High School has ever had. In 2006, he led the team to a 27 defeated season and the state title. Travis Snyder was on that team and was a first round draft pick going number 14 to Toronto. He's currently playing for the Atlanta Braves AAA club. Brent Lillibridge from the class of 2003 was drafted by Pittsburgh out of the University of Washington, playing most of his major league career with Atlanta and the White Sox. Coach Nick has had a history of building good relationships with students and helping keep our campus safe as he has worked during the day as a security officer. Coach Nick has definitely made it Jackson High School. He will be sorely missed. Thank you for your many years of service to Everett Public Schools. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Kelly and I'm the principal at Jefferson Elementary. I'm honored to introduce our retiring staff members this year. Special Education paraeducator Tammy Patterson's patience, care for students, and intuitive collaboration with the Jefferson Life Skills staff stand out to me. Tammy is unflappable in the face of whatever challenges the day brings, always staying focused on what's best for students. I'd like to share what two of her colleagues had to say. 
April Whitecamp, the life skills teacher who has worked with Tammy for eight years, said, Tammy did this job out of love. The kids love and trust her. She is organized, proactive, dedicated, and has so much patience. She sincerely cares for kids and really works to think outside the box about what we can do for students. Life skills para Susan Starosky said, Tammy was a tremendous asset to our team. She was organized and never hesitated to spend her own resources for any child in need or for anything she felt would be enjoyed. She never hesitated to go the extra mile for the kids. Every child was a recipient of her depth of empathy, understanding, and her heart for the job and all it encompasses. Tammy had the ability to remain calm, cool, and collected when dealing with every aspect of the job. She always stepped up, never away. She will be greatly missed. Third grade teacher LaVon Peterson's hard work and creativity in making learning enjoyable are impressive. LaVon worked hard to help students develop a sense of ownership of their learning, and she was an excellent partner with families. I'd like to share what two longtime colleagues said about her. Retired Jefferson teacher Loretta Villa Henninger said, LaVon has a great sense of humor. She would have everyone in stitches in the lunchroom and at outside of school get togethers. She was a very supportive team member. LaVon was dedicated to her students. She was creative and artistic. She had students work on art projects related to topics they were studying with lots of room to make their own creative choices. Jefferson office manager Terry Tolpingrud, who worked with LaVon for 20 years, said, LaVon has always been an advocate for her students. I teased her all the time about being a dog after a bone as she would always push me to get the best for her students. LaVon was very dedicated to her family and friends. She was delightful to be around and had a great sense of humor. She will be missed at Jefferson. Hello, my name is Cindy Foster and I'm the principal at Lowell Elementary. Barbara has been an Everett Public School paraeducator for 18 years. Her impact at Lowell has been immense and she has made such a positive impact on our staff and students. It is hard to condense this impact in a short speech, but I will do my best. While at Lowell, Barbara's focus has been working with our English language students and what a great job she does with these students. Barbara has a passion for working with children of diverse needs and backgrounds. Over all the years I've known Barbara, this is one of the enduring values that she has never wavered from. Barbara was meant to work with EL students and this commitment is ever evident in all she does. Barbara consistently ensures that English language students receive all the opportunities to access their education. From bringing regalia to pre-teaching groups, in order to bring learning to life, to inquiring and honoring students' culture, Barbara does whatever it takes to build connections between the student's native language and the English language. Barbara's heart is her relationships with the students she serves. She pours herself into each lesson and she presents and continually looks for ways to make them even better the next time. What a gift Barbara is to our English learners. Their inquire, acquiring of the English language is in part due to Barbara's commitment to their learning. Beyond our English learners, Barbara has always been a kind and caring staff member. She is continually positive and she approaches each day with happiness and this spreads throughout her staff. Barbara also can be found doing whatever it takes to make the school run more smoothly. Thank you, Barbara, for being a steady and generous force at Lowell. Barbara, you're such a great paraeducator and really such a great person. You are truly one of a kind and someone we can count on in every situation. We have been so fortunate to have you at Lowell. You will be missed, but we will also wish you well in retirement. You deserve to have uninterrupted time with your family, especially have fun with those grandbabies. Thank you for everything, Barbara. Colleen was at Lowell for 21 years as a paraeducator, and she made such a positive impact on our staff and students. Colleen worked primarily in common spaces like the cafeteria, playground, at the bus shoot, etc., and this put her in the midst of many students. This was perfect for Colleen because she loves children. Being around students was her passion. She built many strong relationships, and students looked forward to seeing her each day. Colleen would greet them with a wide smile and a big hello. She would connect with each child personally, and Colleen made every student feel seen. So many times, former students would return to Lowell in order to check in on Mrs. Rader and let them know what they were up to. Colleen impacted so many lives. 
When Colleen wasn't working in the cafeteria, playground, or doing duty, she was leading small reading groups and running our student patrol. Colleen would meet many times a day with students in all grade levels, helping each child to become a better reader. Colleen was very good at improving students' understanding of reading. She was patient, well-planned, and organized. She made reading fun, and it was quite common to have walk by one of her reading groups and hear laughter. Students loved having Colleen as their reading teacher. Student Patrol was another group that Colleen led for many years. Students were safe and responsible when out on patrol due to Colleen's leadership. Colleen also had an eye for students who needed to be in patrol as a way to boost their self-esteem or to help them stay out of trouble. Patrol was a way for her to mentor students and help them to make good choices or see that they were valuable. One of the things students loved best about patrol was their Friday reward treat. Colleen would purchase with her own money candy bars for each patrol member as a thank you for a week of hard work. Students would line up at her door to get the delicious treat. Colleen loved to make students happy. As you have heard, Colleen was a beloved member of the Lowell staff. She made an impact on our school and will be remembered for years to come. We will miss her greatly, but also want her to have an amazing and fun retirement. Thank you, Colleen, for all you did to serve the staff, students, and parents. Take care and have fun. Good evening. My name is Jessica Cornell, the proud principal of Madison Elementary. I am honored to speak about this year's retirees. Leslie Archer, 20 years of service. Leslie is known for being patient, funny, and dedicated to kids. Leslie will be remembered as a true advocate for students with special needs. Leslie, your family here at Madison will miss you dearly, but we hope that you enjoy your retirement because it's well-deserved. Patty Dinwindle, 27 years of service. Patty is known for her smile. Our staff member, Mrs. Beckett says, Patty, always brightened a room and that knowing she would be able to see Patty every single day just made her feel special inside. Patty, you will be remembered for your dedication to the success of our students, especially our Yale students. You always go above and beyond for support. Madison family will miss you, Patty, but we hope you enjoy your retirement because it's well-deserved. Linda Kriegel, 30 years of service. You have dedicated your time, your energy, and passion to the students and staff here at Madison. You will be remembered for your effortless mix of high expectations with a little fun. Students here at Madison says that they will miss your annual dog show. I hope that it won't be a miss. I hope you can still allow us to enjoy your annual dog show every year. We hope you enjoy retirement and it is your time to shine. Enjoy Linda Kriegel. Susan Peterson, 21 years of service. Susan is known for being always kind and patient with kids. Susan will be remembered for celebrating students, celebrating their languages, and celebrating their different cultures. She made sure that students felt welcomed here at Madison. Susan, your creativity and positive attitude will be missed here at Madison, but we know that it is your time to shine and we hope that you enjoy retirement. Julie Tooley Doyle, nine years of service. Julie is known for always being calm, welcoming, and reassuring to students and colleagues. One of the comments that your colleagues remember of you, Julie, is that you love to dance before school in your classroom to set the tone for a great start of the day. Julie, you will be remembered for being a role model of how not to let anyone see you sweat. And you had a witty sense of humor. Julie, you were always willing to try new things to further the success of your students. So Julie, it is now time to shine 
and enjoy retirement. We will miss you here at Madison. Hello everyone, I am Brenda Fugelban, the principal at Mill Creek Elementary. I'm very pleased to introduce our honored retiree, Jolene Hart. Jolene has been a teacher for 38 years. For 33 of those years, she has been a first grade teacher at Mill Creek Elementary. Jolene is the quintessential first grade teacher. She has more books in her classroom library than most public libraries have in their children's section. Jolene captures the heart of every student she teaches with her kind and gentle ways, her invested interest in each student, and her dedication to their individual success. Students enter her class as grown up kindergartners and leave as readers, writers, and mathematicians. Ask any prior student about the secret to creating a snow day, and they will tell you that Mrs. Hart recommends sleeping with a spoon under your pillow. They will also tell you it works. Jolene will be remembered as a perfectionist with a can-do spirit. Navigating the technology man demands this year is a tribute to her lifelong learner attitude. Because of these attributes, we have no doubt she will succeed in retirement as well. She is loved and she will be missed. Congratulations, Jolene. Hello, this is Mitch Entler, principal at North Middle School, and I'm honored to introduce our retirees for the 2020-2021 school year. Luann Baker has been a staple of the North Middle School community for the last 22 years, and 14 years before that at Jackson Elementary. She has been a dedicated lifelong learner, always looking for ways to adapt her teaching to meet the needs of her students. Students respected her clear and direct approach to teaching, reading, and writing. Many students might have entered her classroom needing a little extra guidance and direction. And when they left Luann's class at the end of the year, they had it. She has been dedicated to not only teaching her curriculum, but also the skills needed to be a contributing member of society. Additionally, Lu <clears throat> Luann's quick wit and ability to find the perfect pun will be missed by her colleagues and students. A close staff member loved that she brought levity to her teamwork every day. Whether it was planning a challenging lesson or working on school initiatives, Luann was always able to balance thoughtful recognition of the needs for an individual or for the entire school. She treated everyone she worked with as an equal. Luann's legacy will endure at North Middle School and its community will miss her greatly. Rod Margeson has been a dedicated teacher, coach, and union rep in the Everett Public Schools for the last 31 years. Instructionally, Rod was able to teach multiple science and math content areas at a very high level. His patience was always on display and appreciated by both students and colleagues. A close colleague loved working with him because he was always pushing people out of their comfort zones to become stronger teacher leaders. This leadership could have been represented in any area of the school because he was always encouraging everyone to find the joy in what they were doing. Colleagues loved working with Rod because of his supportive and friendly approach. Staff will miss his efforts to make the building feel like a family. And one of the areas and major staples of Rod's leadership was his first Friday program, where he regularly brought staff together to celebrate the end of the week and the start of the new month. Rod now leaves education to spend time with his family and to continue exploring the world in his travels. North will miss Mr. Margeson, but it will never forget him. Susan Thornquist joined the North Middle School team at the start of the 2020 school year and made a lasting mark on our building with her kindness, professionalism, and dedication to kids. In her short time with North, she established herself through her consistent positive attitude and flexibility, especially in serving our students in a difficult setting that saw multiple transitions over the year. Susan always adapted with a smile and made sure that she was in position to help the students she was working with. A colleague noted that Susan always went the extra mile to make sure a student had what they needed before the work would begin. Her patience and care is what made students trust and respond to her so well. 
Susan leaves the Everett School District after eight years of faithful service, but staff and students will not forget her dedication to that service. Congratulations on taking the next step of your journey, Susan. You will be missed. Hello, this is Marty Shevlin, principal of Penny Creek Elementary School, and I want to share with you a bit about Lindsay Winkle Cotter and how she has had such a loving and important positive impact on so many of Everett's students. Lindsay Winkle Cotter worked for Everett School District for 29 years. She worked in extended resource, developmental kindergarten, and her favorite assignment, which was the LAP program. Lindsay was highly respected by students and staff alike for her knowledge and skill and her ability to relate so beautifully with students from all backgrounds. Some of the personalities that provided the greatest challenge to many of the staff here at Penny Creek were calm and content when meeting with Lindsay. By her genuine, authentic interest and love for them, she could get these children to read every single day. In fact, she often thought about her students, students well into the evenings and weekends, always working to find ways to connect with them. She truly celebrated her students and enjoyed her time with them. All of Lindsay's co-workers loved working with her. They loved hearing her voice on their walkie-talkie radios, and they loved hearing her laughter. Lindsay was always willing to jump in and help wherever needed. She was always there for others. All of us who had the privilege to work with her, even for just a little while, miss her dearly. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alita Smoot, and I'm the proud principal of Silver Firs Elementary School. I am honored to introduce our retirees for this year. Our first retiree is Mary Binkley. Congratulations, 28 years in Everett Public Schools. Mary, it has been my honor as the principal of Silver First to have the opportunity to work with you, though for a short time, but you will forever be in my heart. As I spoke with staff, you have left a legacy in their hearts and their minds. And I want to share with you what some of them had to say. Mary, your contagious smile, genuine kindness, and dedication to your profession inspires us all to be better. You will be deeply missed at Silver Firs and forever remembered. Congratulations on your retirement and cheers to all the adventures that still lie ahead. Wishing you a long, healthy, and happy retirement. Let the fun begin. Another colleague said, there's something about Mary. She's amazing and always brings fun and joy just walking into the room. She has an incredible memory with a special knack for remembering names and dates. She is also an amazing listener who will always make you feel heard and cared about. I had the wonderful opportunity to work with her for many years on the same grade level team and loved every minute. Not only can I call her a colleague, but I can call her a dear friend. I know I'm gonna miss her warm and positive presence at Silver Firs, but I'm so happy for her as she embarks on this next chapter. Another colleague said, I don't know how to put her smile in a slide. Mary has the biggest, most beautiful smile and a heart to match. She taught me how to listen with intent and she has an unbelievable memory. She knows the names and faces of kids we've had in our classes 20 plus years ago. Amazing. Mary is always ready to greet you with a hey, hey. Her caring heart and sweet smile would always warm my day. Mary's positive energy was always reflected in her class environment. Her students were eager, happy, and ready to learn. Mary never forgets a date or a name. She remembers all of her former students. It always amazes me that she never forgets a birthday or someone's age. Her life, her energy, and her laughter will be missed. She was an awesome collaborator and contributor of lessons and teaching ideas over the years. An absolute joy to work with. She will be greatly missed at Silver Furs. Mary was my middle daughter's kindergarten teacher. She called her Mrs. Rice. Her name was Rife back then. She shared 
a picture that my daughter drew and said she loved how she drew football shaped eyes. And my daughter has never forgotten that or the kindness and the excitement Mary shared for reading and writing. Again, Mary, congratulations. And it is clear that you will be dearly missed by all of us at Silver Furs. Our second retiree at Silver Furs Elementary is Ellen Fruland with 29 years. Congratulations, Ellen. Again, it has been my honor to have the opportunity to work with you here at Silver Furs. As I reached out to staff, they had some beautiful things to say and I would like to share those with you. Ellen has been an amazing librarian. She is skillful at getting students hooked on reading by helping them find just the right books or series of books to match their interests. She has been a wonderful resource for recommending and supplying books for classroom units, as well as collaborating with teachers on a wide range of classroom units and topics. She has been a fantastic tech resource as well. Ellen's library and tech units have been engaging and fun for all students. She is a trusted teammate friend and confidant who has always been there to laugh like crazy, to listen, and to provide a supportive shoulder to cry on. She will be so missed at Silver Furs. Ellen, what will we do without you? Your welcoming spirit has made the library a haven for all to find the joy of reading. I wish you all the goodness in what is yet to come. Congratulations on your retirement, sweet lady. Ellen has been our school librarian since I came to Silver Furs over 20 years ago. I'm going to miss her smile and her willingness to help when I'm in need of a resource in the library. She has been a wonderful colleague and I will miss seeing her at Silver Furs. I'm excited for her as she heads into retirement and will have more opportunities to spend with her family. Congratulations, Ellen, on your retirement. You will be dearly missed. Wishing you a long and healthy and happy retirement. Let the fun begin. Ellen, she is always the one to find on Dress as a Character Day. I loved her Mary Poppins ear the best. She has such a wealth of knowledge about literature and what kids like best, and I could always count on her for a good book recommendation. She has established a strong, positive love of books at Silver Furs Elementary. Ellen is always willing to lend a hand and loan her library space for countless meetings, after school clubs, book fairs, baby showers, and wedding showers. There have been too many to count in the years she has been at Silver Furs. She is a gracious and caring staff member who will be missed dearly at Silver Furs. Mary and Ellen, congratulations on your retirement, and we hope that you Fly off into the sunset and enjoy all that you can. We thank you for your work. Thank you for your smiles. We thank you for your heart. You will be missed at Silver Furs. Hello, I'm Celia O'Connor Weaver, the principal of Tambert Creek Elementary School. And I'm here to honor Leslie Calhoun on her retirement from the Everett Public Schools. Congratulations to Leslie Calhoun on her retirement. I have had the privilege of working with Ms. Calhoun for the past two years at Tambark Creek Elementary, where she teaches second grade. Prior to coming to Tambark Creek Elementary, she taught first grade at Woodside Elementary School for four years. Leslie has been in the field of education for 41 years. Her teaching career began as a substitute teacher in 1979. In 1980, she taught second grade in Oregon and then went to Germany to teach second grade and teach in the gifted program in kindergarten through sixth grade in the Department of Defense Dependent Schools. Leslie then spent the next 28 years in the state of Washington where she was an instructional coach, taught grades three, four, five, six, and taught in the K-6 gifted program in the Lake Washington School District. Leslie was also principal for eight years in Cheney, Washington and in Snohomish, Washington. 
Leslie has been involved in many committees and organizations throughout her education career. She has participated in the school improvement planning process, district literacy adoption committee, dyslexia committee, and she is nationally board certified in early literacy. Congratulations on a standout career, Leslie, and best wishes for your retirement. It's been a privilege working with you for the past two years. Hello and congratulations to all of our Everett School District retirees. My name is Tina Farias and I am the principal at View Ridge Elementary School. And I am so pleased and honored to celebrate two extraordinary educators who are retiring this year. Mary Albert is one of the most dynamic and thoughtful teachers I have had the privilege to work with and know. Mary has a keen intellect and love of learning. She is purposeful in planning lessons that make her students' brains sweat, but are also fun, creative, and will appeal to students' interests and natural curiosities. Her classroom is based on high expectations for respect, engagement, and growth. Even our most struggling learners thrive in her classroom because of her inquiry approach to learning and discovery. I've noticed what makes Mary so dynamic is her ability to make learning just as multifaceted as she is. Mary can captivate her students in highly focused and rigorous learning projects within a calm and cognitively busy environment, and then completely pivot to goofy, energetic, and humorous discussion, innovative projects, role-playing, or brain break activities. In any scenario, Mary builds respect and rapport with her students because she models exactly what she expects from them, hard work, enthusiasm, and focus. In her most recent years as a teacher in our highly capable program, Mary has shown great care and empathy in building a community of learners in a multi-age classroom environment that invites students from several surrounding schools. She knows that even our most decelerated learners need a teacher that builds strong connections with them and supports them in the areas they not only excel in, but others that they feel less confident in. In her work with this program, she's helped provide cohesion and teamwork among other HC classes and general ed classes, which has built a strong sense of community within our school. Mary has always been so humble about her impact and her accolades as a teacher. So let me just say, trust me, she's one of the best. I am pleased to share a bit about Cindy Fogg. No one who knows Cindy's passion, energy, and nonstop hard work ethic would guess that this was her last year before retirement. She treats each day of her work as an equally important day to support learning and growth. She is still a very active teacher leader. Currently, she serves on our building instructional leadership team, chairs our school staff social committee, and supports her colleagues as an EEA building representative, and has served in various additional roles throughout her career. I first became a Cindy Fogg fan when I worked as an ELA coach at View Ridge. Her ability to get to know each of her students' individual strengths and needs was always so intuitive and student-centered. Her collaboration with others, including her teammates, me, the students, and their families, helped set a tone of mutual support and partnership in working towards student success. I've become an even bigger fan of Cindy Fogg as a principal. With her great experience and intuitive understanding of students, she is one of those special teachers I can count on to work with any type of learner. She gets to know each student and builds strong relationships with them and helps them feel welcome and successful at school. She just really understands kids and still finds joy in their individual contributions, even those that are hilariously unpredictable sometimes. I can always count on Cindy to visit my office while our kids are busy at specialists to update me on the latest funny or amazing aha that a student shared in her class, or during remote learning, clips of seesaw entries capturing her students' clever and humorous responses to an activity or prompt. I don't know if she knows how much this fills my bucket or how much I'll miss this part of our work together, but her love for this work will always inspire me, as I know it'll inspire our whole school community. I am Tony Wentworth, principal of Whittier Elementary School. I am honored to introduce Whittier's retiree this year. After 18 years of service at Whittier Elementary School and the Everett Public Schools, our beloved first grade teacher, Patty Safley, will be retiring. The Whittier staff, our students, our families, and the community are very sad to see her leave us but we are also excited for her to experience some new adventures in her life. There's so much appreciation from everyone for the amazing work she has done to impact so many students in our community. 
Patty is so kind and caring to her students and always emphasize the importance of demonstrating kindness, respect, compassion, and gratitude, while also demonstrating from the bottom of her heart how much she cared about each child. She appreciated who they were and what they brought into her classes, and the importance of each child's unique characteristics that made them special. And she also had very high expectations for learning, academic growth, and achievement for each child. Patty had a special gift for taking a simple learning concept and making the learning the most exciting experience for each child to create magical learning in her classroom every day and every year for each child. She made school the best part of each student's day and she created a classroom culture that made Whittier a second home for many students and families. Anytime you were in Patty's class, in person and remote, you just wanted to smile sing, chant, dance, jump out of your seat in excitement, and laugh every day. And that's what made learning so fun and exciting with Mrs. Safley. The staff, the community, the families, and all students will miss you, Patty. And we will definitely miss your famous bird calls, your adventures around the world learning about and appreciating different cultures. And of course, I will personally miss those big cultural lunch feasts with your students and your passion for teaching students how to write through personal narratives. I'm sure your students and former students will still come to see you in the Whittier neighborhood or will see you biking around town. Happy retirement, Patty. You are and always will be a Whittier legend. Good evening. I am Betty Cobbs, principal of Woodside Elementary School in Everett Public Schools and I'm honored to introduce two instructional leaders from Woodside who are retiring this year. I am so proud to congratulate Sharon Jordan for her 20 and one half years of teaching second grade at Woodside. Over the years, Sharon has spent countless hours preparing for each of her students, and we want to thank her for 20 years of listening, encouraging, and teaching with passion. Ms. Jordan made a real difference in the lives of the students she taught. Her bottomless supply of patience, wisdom, and motivation will be hard to replace. We will miss Sharon's inviting and contagious smile and her delight in sharing fun kids' stories. Now it's time for Sharon to relax and enjoy herself. Congratulations on your retirement, Mrs. Jordan. Karen Miller has worked in Everett Public Schools for 32 years. She likes to add seven years to her tenure since she also attended Everett Public Schools from third grade through high school graduation. Over the last 32 years, Karen has worked in 14 different schools and served the district well by her willingness to sign on for new challenges. She shares that she has met her professional goals through her experience as a student, a teacher, an administrator, reading specialist, and as a reading coach. Now she's looking forward to spending time with her family and friends, playing with her grandchildren in daylight hours, horseback riding, and quilting. I don't think Karen will get bored. Congratulations on your retirement, Karen. And thank you for your dedicated work on behalf of students. Hello, I'm Shelley Boughton, and I'm the Chief Academic Officer. I oversee the Academics Office here in Everett Public Schools. We are so excited to congratulate Marguerite Moskett and her retirement from Everett Public Schools this year. Marguerite joined Everett Public Schools in 2014, serving as an elementary assistant principal at Woodside and Penny Creek Elementary. In 2018, Marguerite accepted the Director of Elementary Literacy position, which she has held since that time. Marguerite was instrumental in the Reach for Reading and iReady programming, and her work in aligning professional learning and student-centered coaching across our system will leave a positive impact for years to come. In her retirement, Marguerite is planning to engage in community service, possible part-time work opportunities, travel, and more time with family and friends when it's safe to do so. Marguerite's last day with Everett was February 12th, but we wish her the very best in her retirement. Congratulations, Marguerite. 
Hi, I'm Andy Triss, Accounting Director in the Finance and Business Services Department. I'm honored to announce Leslie McDonald has retired from our lead accounting technician position for Ever Public Schools. Leslie McDonald was the lead accounting technician for the Finance and Business Services team for nine years. She was dedicated, responsible, and hardworking. She's always willing to lend an ear, and she's always go the extra mile for her team. Leslie is committed and passionate to her work, and she was someone the accounting team could trust to lend a helping hand. We will miss her positive attitude, smile, and the impact that she had in accounting. My name is Joanna Peeler. I'm the Director of Food Nutrition Services, and I get the honor of introducing the retirees from our Food Nutrition Department for this year. Carolyn's been with Food Nutrition for the last 25 years. The majority of her career has been spent at Evergreen Middle School. Um, she's always been a great advocate for the middle school kids, um, wanting to make sure they have great choices and great meals. Um, but we're really going to miss her ability to train. She, People in her kitchen know how to do everything. She's a great believer in cross-training, um, and she's, but she's also been a great trainer across the district. At least uh, three quarters of our staff have been through her dough class on how to make the doughs um, rise beautifully for our cheese zombies and our pizza crusts and other um, bread items. So we're going to miss that, that training ability and wish her luck. Mary's been with the Food Nutrition Department for the past 30 years. Uh, she spent time at Monroe Elementary, Hawthorne Elementary, and most recently at Garfield Elementary as the kitchen manager. She's always one who's taken such great pride in the work that she does. She wants to make sure that each menu item that the kids see is appealing, that it tastes good. She wants to make sure that food is going in their belly so that they are ready to learn. Um, she's always looking for ways to make it better, always looking for ways to uh, present items in a different way. Um, she's really looking out for the kids to make sure they are ready for the day. Leanne has been with our department for the last 12 years most recently at Eisenhower Middle School. She always has the best interest of students and her coworkers at heart. Whether it's taking care of a kiddo to make sure they get the meal they need or looking out after her coworkers, she's always the first one to make sure everybody's doing okay. Wow, good evening. This is Ian Saltzman, Superintendent of Everett Public Schools, and I have the distinct pleasure of introducing our Executive Director of Human Resources, Ms. Debbie Kovacs. After leading the Human Resources Department since 2014, Debbie Kovacs is retiring at the end of June. Congratulations, Debbie, on a career serving students and staff in both North Thurston Public Schools and Everett Public Schools for over 30 years. Debbie began her career serving educators at the Association of Washington School Principals, where she served for nine years. She moved to North Thurston Public Schools in 1990, serving first as Human Resources Assistant and promoting through administrative positions to Executive Director until her arrival in Everett in 2014. Notable achievements during Debbie's time in Everett include many, but here they are. The creation of partnership with Marysville Public Schools Everett Community College and the University of Washington Bothell to diversify teacher candidates through the Recruit Washington Teachers Bilingual Education Initiative, partnerships with the Communities of Color Coalition and the Everett Education Association of Culturally Responsive Practices Task Force on retention and implementation of hiring practices that result in hiring highly skilled, diverse candidates. These contributions are outstanding, and we are grateful for Debbie's leadership and true innovation. Debbie's accomplishments are even more incredible when you consider she has commuted from Olympia every week for seven years. Debbie, that's dedication and a lot of good telephone talk, I'm sure. Debbie, you will be missed. We wish you only the best as you transition to retirement with more time for family, friends, fun, and travel. Thank you for serving families, students, and staff at the Everett Public Schools system. Hello, this is Brian Beckley, Chief Information Officer for Everett Public Schools. I am honored to introduce the retirees from the Learning and Information Technology Services Department for this year. 
Ron Smith has been the phone installation and repair specialist for the district for just under four years. And in that time, he has led us through several modernizing and upgrade projects for all of our systems related to telephone communications. He has done this with a smile and with a critical eye to ensure that the systems he's responsible for operate effectively and reliably. We know that Ron is leaving the district's complex telephone system in a better place than when he first arrived. Thank you, Ron. Enjoy your well-earned retirement. We wish you all the best. Congratulations to Patty Ann Toomey, who has been an integral part of the success of our department for many years. She has been a member of the help desk as well as her current role as a field technician. And for the past several years, Patty Ann has developed the deployment center into a central hub for all of our technicians. She organizes and maintains an inventory of all manner of equipment required for our work. Patty Ann has excelled at developing systems to track equipment stored in several offsite locations. Patty Ann is known for her strong organizational skills and she prides herself in knowing where all of the more than 20,000 devices are exactly located around the district when requested. Summer deployments over the past 15 years are where Patty Ann has truly shined. She was instrumental in developing the first processes for recruiting and hiring IT summer interns. She and these summer workers are responsible one way or another for most of all of the technology we see in schools today. She took her technical skill, combined it with a systems thinking approach and collaborative attitude to make the deployment center and our entire department better. We are lucky to have had Patty Ann and she will be extremely difficult to replace. She has left very large shoes to fill. Congratulations, Patty Ann. As the Director of Maintenance, Safety and Security, it is a great honor to recognize the department employees who have given much to the district at all hours of the day and night. This year, we have a large group of custodians retiring who have worked diligently to provide clean, healthy environments for us to learn and work. We will miss their dedication, caring, smiles, and their presence. Joining this retiree group is also the Administrative Assistant for Custodial Services. We wish each of them the best in their future endeavors. Custodial Supervisors, Wes Erdahl and Trevor Bell will speak about the individuals they supervise. Robert Dale, 31 years. Robert has been a valued member of the Custodial Services Department for many years and most recently served his community with honor and care as the head custodian at Silver Firs Elementary School. During Robert's 31 years with Everett, he earned a great reputation for being a true ambassador of customer service by building positive relationships with students and staff. Robert served the district in multiple roles from working in special services to custodial and operations. Robert kept service of others as a top priority and will be remembered for his desire to make others feel welcome, valued, and well cared for. Robert's legacy is of a team member who will make it happen to keep everyone happy. Many thanks, Robert, and enjoy your retirement. Hi, my name is Wes Erdahl. I have the privilege to recognize Carl Noak, who is retiring after 24 years of service to Everett Public Schools. Carl worked at Cascade and Evergreen as a swing custodian before becoming a head custodian at Penny Creek. Um, Penny Creek shined under his leadership. Carl transferred to Forest View as head custodian and worked there for a few years. I wish Carl the best as he starts his new adventure. Thank you for your service to Everett Public Schools. John Lydell, 21 years. John's community remembers him as a kind, dependable, attentive, and positive team member. He provided outstandingly thorough work while remaining humble, patient, and calm. John never complained or shrugged his duties. He was determined to provide the best for his school. He has always kept his focus centered on the interest of students and staff. Everett Public Schools was lucky enough to receive the dedication of John for 21 years. John's legacy with those he worked closest with is of a great man who treated everyone like family. He is greatly respected and wished the best for himself and his family. Many thanks, John, and enjoy your retirement. Hi, my name is Wes Erdahl. It's my privilege today to recognize Ken Porter. Ken Porter has worked for Everett Public Schools for three years as a swing custodian at Eisenhower Middle School, where he has been dedicated and hardworking. 
Um, Ken plans to spend some time in his retirement RVing and we wish him the best as he starts his adventure. Lisa Sutton, 33 years. I think the thing I personally will miss the most about Lisa is her contagious smile, friendly disposition, and care for all those she came in contact with. Lisa was a bright spot in each day for many of us here at Maynard. Her ability to make things happen by just hearing a mention of a need. Her generosity, flexibility, and grace, while dealing with constant changes, are greatly appreciated. Lisa served Everett Public Schools for more than 33 years. She provided many years of valued service to Cascade High School and to the maintenance department. And she still found time to work long nights in athletics, from being a game manager to a ticket taker at events. Lisa's legacy is of a wonderful, warm-hearted person who will be missed immensely. Many thanks for all you did for Everett Public Schools. Enjoy your retirement and best of luck with your new adventures. Good evening, I am Nancy Brown, Transportation Coordinator, and it is my pleasure to honor our transportation retiree, Mike McDonald. Mike came to Everett Public Schools in January 2014 after a successful business career. He has been a valued member of our team for over the last seven years. He was instrumental in helping us develop our bus tire chain training program and designed our current tire chain labeling system for our buses and vans. He has spent countless hours repairing and restocking our chains after a snow event. We will definitely miss him on our snow preparation team. He has a wonderful rapport with all the staff and students going that extra mile for us every day. His route always ran on time and I can say for a fact that Mike was loved and respected by all of his students. We will greatly miss you Mike and wish you the best in your retirement adventures. <laughs>